The sun is starting to go down. It's inching its way into parts of southwestern Polk County. The timing is really going to, uh, we're going to get more detailed in that timing pretty soon. So let's talk about the strongest winds for areas in, across our far southwestern zones, Osceola County, Southern Lake, Southern Sumter County. You guys will start to kind of see the real kick of that storm up by about 11 o'clock tonight. Slowly but surely, as Ian continues his track back out toward the Atlantic, we really will start to kind of finish off some of the strongest winds across most of East Central Florida by about 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So throughout the majority of the overnight, we will be seeing the heaviest rain, the strongest wind, and the highest threat for that tornadic, tornadic activity. So, of course, staying alert overnight, of course, is something that is necessary no matter where you are in East Central Florida. So let's look at the wind intensity, another way of looking at the timeline of this. As it continues to make its way into Polk County, you can see there will be that chance of seeing about 58, 60 mile per hour wind gusts um, by the time we headed, I should say, 74 mile per hour wind gusts as we start approaching parts of southern Polk County. And you can see that real center of the hurricane force winds, of course, starting to uh, kind of diminish a little bit as it continues to weaken from a three to a one here as it approaches central Polk County by 2 a.m. But look at the areas here highlighted in that darker yellow. That means sustained winds of about 58 miles per hour. So what is it, who does that include? Most of Orange County, Osceola County, Southern Lake and Sumter by very, very early tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. as it continues its track, more of East Central Florida will be under the strongest winds. All of Brevard, Volusia County, Lake, Seminole County as a possible Category 1 hurricane still by Thursday at 7 a.m. So we're talking by, by about daybreak early tomorrow morning. And then the bulk of the strongest winds as it weakens into a tropical storm albeit a strong tropical storm, into southern Volusia County by about 6 o'clock Thursday night. So as we, of course, talk about it, the majority of East Central Florida will be dealing with the strongest of Ian throughout the overnight hours, which is why we, of course, will be here around the clock, making sure we keep you guys updated on air, online, News 6 Plus, ClickOrlando.com, Pinpoint Weather app, Hurricane app, YouTube. We've got you covered, <laughs> right, Tom? So we will be here, don't you worry.